What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here. Messing around in the woods, you know, kind of what I do. <laughs> and as many of you know, I like to practice and work on my fire making skills. I like to know as many different ways to make fire as possible. And I've gotten uh, several comments on TikTok and on YouTube and, and sometimes on Facebook of like, how do I make a bird's nest? What's, what's the best way to make a bird's nest if I want to practice and do primitive fire making? Sorry about the wind. That might make things a little challenging today. So obviously a huge factor in that is what surroundings you're, you have around you. What sort of natural materials do you have around you? And that can change, you know, geographically all over the world, right? So clearly you wanna have dry materials, right? Dry materials, materials that you can fluff up, fibrous type materials. So here I've got a few things. I've clearly got pine straw on the ground. We got some of these different types of grasses here. And I'm just gonna collect plenty of this stuff so that I can make my bird's nest to help me start a primitive fire. So get yourself a good amount in case you have to do it multiple times to get it going. Sometimes it doesn't always happen right off the bat and it takes a little bit of practice to figure this stuff out. And that's what I wanna encourage you guys to do. Go out, practice this stuff, have fun with it. And heck, why not a pine cone or two? Pine cones burn very well and very, very hot. All right, so I got some materials here. Obviously, before you start this, you want to have the rest of your materials already gathered for your campfire so that you can transfer this directly to your other material, um, your kindling, um, you know, pinky size diameter sticks, some a little bit larger, a little bit larger, and so on. Start small, work your way up. That's a whole other video. I'm just going to show you how to construct a bird's nest and get it going. So it's actually pretty simple. I'm gonna use the pine straw as my main part of the, uh, the bird's nest, but what I'm gonna do first is try to break this down into as, as fibrous a material as I can, as fluffy as I can. It is kind of wet out. We had some rain the last couple days, so I'm not really sure how well this is gonna work, but I uh, feel pretty confident we can get it going. Practice makes perfect, right? So. This material right here, I'm going to break down, just simply break me off a few pieces, and just start fluffing it up, messing with it, put it in your hands, rub it around. Put it in a little ball and tear it up. Make it as fibrous as you possibly can. That might be okay. It's a little damp, but just keep working. So again, pine cones are really, really good for uh, helping you with fire. Not so much all the time getting one started, but once you get it going, adding pine cones really do a good job. Um, as everybody knows, I really like the uh, fat wood that you get out of old pine stumps. Uh, a lot of terpene in it that helps with fire. Pine cones have terpene in them as well. So you can break off a few pieces of them and rough them up as well add to your bird's nest may or may not necessarily catch but will really intensify the heat and it'll burn a little longer and you can work on this for a little while and get it pretty fibrous but uh you do you as I said, I'm going to use pine straw as what I consider the base, the main body of the, uh, the bird's nest. So what I like to do, 
split some somewhat equally, cross them over, and start working a spot in the middle, kind of spread them out like this. And then I just start rotating it around and crossing, I'm trying to just weave it. pieces crisscrossing them and just keep rotating with your thumbs on the inside once I get a pretty good donut form in here if you will I like to invert it and it further helps bind those fibers to help keep it in a, in a shape, in a form. And I just continue working it. Let's see if I can do this backwards so you can see it. And there I've got a pretty decent little bird's nest. It holds its shape pretty good. Now I'm simply going to take the material that I fluffed up, set it in the center. Now you can use, you know, a ferrocerium rod, um, different different ways, and you know, I always get the comment, well, "Won't you just carry a lighter?" Blah 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 blah. I get it, dude. Like, I actually do carry a lighter with me at all times. Um, not a smoker. I'm a prepper, but knowing how to do this in different ways, if you run out of fuel, if, you know, there's tons of different scenarios, right? So why not be prepared for all of them? Cool thing about a lighter is even if I've ran out of fuel, which I think I've got fuel in this, I do, but even if I ran out of fuel, I can use this to create a spark, okay? So that's a good reason to have a lighter on you and it's still usable if you're out of fuel. But my preferred method is some char cloth and flint and steel, because it's fun. So, I like to take my char cloth. I showed y'all recently how to make this stuff. What I like to do is take my char cloth and put it on my flint. So here's a tip for you. Typically, what I have found, if I'm holding my flint and I'm striking down with my steel, sparks fly up versus going down. If you hold your steel and you strike down with the flint, sparks go down. But what I like to do, instead of trying to be sure I get a spark going down and hit a little piece of char cloth, I like to put the char cloth on the flint. Like so. Just coming over the edge. So I'm gonna lose some char cloth here. It's gonna break off. But, the odds of a spark catching the char right on the edge or flying up and landing on it, it's a little bit greater than me trying to direct the sparks down. So I'm gonna get this going and then I'm gonna sit it in the middle of my bird's nest. I say I'm gonna get it going. I hope I get it going. All right, here we go. All right, got it going, see? Set that in my bird's nest. I'm gonna put a little extra on there. 
so it's in my bird's nest. Now I'm going to hold it with both hands, feed it some oxygen. Now all while you're doing this, you want to be finessing this material around. to figure out how to direct the heat to the material. There we go. We got fire. So now you can set this down and start adding your kindling so you can get your fire going. I think the pine cone piece is just caught. <laughs> so that's how to make and light a bird's nest in a primitive manner. So you can start your fire. <laughs> Get outside, try this stuff, folks. It's skills, learn skills. Um, Never know, you might need it in the future or you may just want to impress your buddies. Get outdoors, create yourself a little adventure. Learn how to make fire in different ways and have fun doing it. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time with another video. Yeehaw. I gotta make sure the woods don't catch on fire now.